what would you think it would be a good idea for a leader to do in these difficult times when they don't expect a certain situation to happen to their companies or to their teams? Yeah. So, so I think after the last two years during COVID, no one would expect that this is how we're going to spend, you know, first of March uh, in in 2022. So definitely, as a leader, uh, I think that's what we're paid for, right? So in normal times, in you know, in stable situation. You could have a, a manager, like you know, managers manage systems, and if the system is stable, then you could have someone that just manages. But in these times, this is where we need leadership most. So, as a leader, I think the first thing that I see many leaders and many companies do wrong is they already over communicate about the things that they're doing. Like I see this kind of post: we're standing for Ukraine, and I don't know what does mean that does mean for for me and especially if i'm an employee of that company what does it mean for me so i think where leaders should focus right now is they should focus on their teams and communicate with their teams internally right and 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 make it a safe environment for their people to be able to share now people have worries like we are worried about about the future depending where you are and how close you are you know you know to the conflict and if you have a team there, or maybe if you have uh, suppliers, or if you have customers there, you know you could be affected and you could be impacted at different levels. So these are worried. You know, if you just open, we discuss about looking uh, and, and watching TV or, or checking the news. I mean, you don't even have to do that. We are on LinkedIn here and also on Facebook and 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 YouTube, but. On any of these channels, there is enough news and there is not negativity about the situation that you know we could get into that kind of negative spiral and and start to think that you know this is the end of the world. So as a leader, you have to be you know the the anchor for your team and make it safe for them to share and and maybe share that you're worried. I mean, I'm worried, and I, I bet you're worried. So it's okay to be worried, right? So yeah. that's the first thing that I would do as a leader. I would make sure that I make it a safe environment for my team to share what they're going through. You know, uh, do they have family members out there? Do they have uh, friends, relatives? Are they directly impacted? And, and so all of those things that um, we need. Does it make sense? Yeah, 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 it makes more sense. And especially during this time, people want to be heard. Absolutely. about the struggles and uh, this actually gives a little bit more uh, humanity to the whole situation okay i'm going through this i have family there i, ha I might have colleagues there i i definitely have some colleagues in ukraine uh, i can i can tell you that but everybody's worried about what the what the situation would be and i think that as you said for the leader to be an anchor in this kind of situation i think the leader should um, or must not be taken over by the emotions. Mm. He should be or they should be uh, very, um, let's say, very solid in, in a solid ground with their own feet. Okay, uh, we are going through this situation. This is something new to us. We have prepared for this moment for our whole lives. Um, and actually, the moment of conflict or the difficult times is where the best leaders come in front. Absolutely. If you are a good leader, you will be, let's say, it, it, it will show. It will show on, uh, on the thing you do and everything that your team is going through. If you're a bad leader, that will also show, will be shown because um, you cannot lead people through difficult times if you are a bad leader.